Hi guys, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler here. This uh, rather dangerous looking but kind of pretty uh, weed is a uh, artichoke thistle. I believe that's what their common name is. Um, it's It grows all over the place, usually on roadsides and in sort of rocky, stony country. Uh, we see a lot of it heading down towards Melbourne. And someone asked me recently how to get rid of thistles in their paddock. I'm not sure if they had this sort, but the picture I saw was a pretty big thistle. And these things can grow oh, a metre and a half high and a good metre across. And they they um, got lots of nasty big spikes. Um, when I chopped these bits off, I had gloves on and the spikes went through the gloves too. So it wasn't pleasant. Uh, very nasty. I don't know if they're a noxious weed in Victoria, but they probably should be. Um, anyway, uh, someone asked me how to get rid of them other than let them dry off and burn them and it's not too flash burning things in Victoria now. Of course you can't, it's the middle of summer and it's a total fire ban and all that sort of problems. But uh, really uh, stock won't eat them and uh, they just propagate gradually and take over pasture land. So I suggested uh, the worm farm might be the go. Uh, basically compost them and then the worm should finish them off. Um, these big bulbous sort of flower heads are quite large it's pretty much the size of my fist so I'm going to have to chop them up but what I'm going to do is put it through the mulcher and uh, I'll try over other couple of thistles I've got in my yard as well and we'll do a worm test on how they can get rid of or whether they can get rid of thistles and uh, hopefully the spikes don't end up in in the garden soil but if all goes well um, the worm should demolish it all. So we'll do a test. I'll chop this one up first and then we'll find a couple of other thistles in my yard to do as a comparison as well. So I sliced the heads up of this thistle and I fed it all through the mulcher. Uh, it took a bit of doing and it made quite a racket. Now the end result as you can see is, is quite sort of feathery and uh, inside the heads was um, all these sort of feathery bits which I presume when the thing dries off the heads break open and these blow around in the wind to um, distribute the seed so I would recommend if you're going to mulch up thistles probably to catch them earlier rather than later uh, I certainly don't want seeds spread in my yard here um, and it looks like these ones weren't far from maturing so the earlier you get thistles the fleshier they're going to be and the mulcher will handle them a lot better now the spikes are going to be in here but because it's all mulched quite fine um, I'm not getting any of my fingers but I'm still a bit cautious so I did this yesterday and it's actually starting to warm up in the middle here so they would probably compost fine but look just to make sure we get rid of all the spikes I'm going to put this in a, a worm testing spot I've got here and uh, see if they get into it so I've spread this out in this garden bed. Uh, I've just watered it down so that none of these um, feathery pieces blow away. So now I'll cover it over with the hessian and a bit of carpet. I'll keep it damp. It's probably a lot more uh, more than I needed as far as quantity goes. I shouldn't have brought back as much as I did, but then once I had it here, I had to mulch it, and I didn't want to put it in the green waste bin with the risk of spreading seeds. So it's all in this bed. It may continue to heat up a bit more because it's a bit thicker. So I wouldn't expect the worms will get into it for uh, quite a few weeks. But I'm not worried about speed on this test. It's more just a, an experiment to see if the worms will demolish the thistle. And hopefully not leave any spikes. Although I would imagine they'll um, break down being damp anyway. Uh, I did mention I'd find a couple of other thistles in my yard to do as a comparison. Uh, I'll do that shortly but we'll get this one set first. Now it's currently um, almost three months, I think about 10 weeks since I did this thistle test and uh, apologies but it's been totally neglected. I didn't get around to uh, mulching up any other thistle types to test and this garden bed testing area I've just kept damp when I've been doing other tests nearby. Uh, I had a quick peek at one stage and the worms were getting well and truly into it including into the hessian which we put over the top. But that was a month ago and I've just let it go. So now we'll have a final look and just see 
in fact there's no thistle left at all and also there's no hessian left so if you remember back to the start of this video which wasn't long for you guys but it was yeah, nearly three months for me um, that was a really thick layer of thistles and what do we got here fibrous bit of the stem perhaps but there's lots of worms in here they've clearly done their job the hessian has totally gone though I knew they had hessian um, and other than some stemmy bits the thistles are all gone and there's plenty of worms in here so there's obviously a lot of fibrous material that they're still working on but essentially this garden bed is no longer a big mat of feathery and spiky thistles it's actually compacted down a fair bit too but it's basically raised the level of the garden bed by a couple of inches and look at that we have something that was um, dangerous spiky and noxious as far as a weed goes to beautiful fibrous worm castings for the garden so for the garden bed pretty well converted to soil uh, as I said the hessian's been included in it too the back of the carpet just shows what looks like dirt I don't even know if we can find any hessian at all let's have a look around the sides No, it's pretty well just soil and worms. Oh, look at there it is. There it is. There's a bit of hessian. Just to prove that I wasn't imagining it. And there's a worm finishing that off there now. So they've done an awesome job, the worms. I've left them be, and they probably don't like being disturbed with all my tests. But um, they've demolished that entire load of thistle and the hessian. And that garden bed really just needs a dig over actually and I can either do another test or um, it would be beautifully fertile now to plant something in. There's um, no risk of any of those thistles propagating. All the seeds and spikes appear to be of, to have totally vanished. And um, that answers the question that I was asked at the beginning. Uh, another way to get rid of thistles where you can chop them out and as I mentioned earlier chop them out when they're young so they're nice and fleshy uh, mulch them up is better but you could just put them in a worm farm area or a compost bin um, and heat them up for a while in hot compost and then the worms will finish them off so there you go thanks for watching a um, bit of a different test this one on big artichoke thistles but um, there you go uh, problem solved we can mulch and feed worms on thistles. See you in the next video.